This presentation may contain language and scenes which may be objectionable to certain individuals. Viewer discretion is advised. Underdogs, I'm still Macho Mike, this is still Macho Movies, and we're still in the summer of 90s nostalgia. Yeah, we're in September now, and summer may be winding down, but it's not over yet. And just because school's back in session? Hey, I know kids who started school at the end of July this year. So today on Macho Movies, I'm reviewing a 90s movie about going to school. Now you know how that can be. You don't fit in with that one crowd, or you aren't good enough to be on that one team, or you aren't smart enough to pass that one class. Yeah, been there, done that. All of us underdogs have at one point. Some of us are still there. <laughs> That's as good of a reason as any for me to showcase this macho movie about one of my favorite underdogs ever, Ernest P. Worrell who has to go back to school to get his high school diploma or else he loses his job. You know what I mean, Vern? America's favorite class clown finally makes the grade. Ernest goes to school. Ernest B. Warren is about to face his worst nightmare. Right, class. Blackboard problem. Oh, no. Not that. <laughs> Anything but that. Ah. Not back to school. It's a pushover, sweetheart. It's a waltz in the park. Now, Ernest is back in the hands of caring, sharing teachers. Is a problem, Mr. Worrell? Math classes. Room 205. Thanks. Enjoying the healthy competition of team sports. <laughs> and rising to the challenge of learning a musical instrument. It's time for me to rise to even greater heights. It's time for me to reach out and take opportunity by the hand. <laughs> To grab knowledge in a Greco-Roman knuckle-lock and wrestle it whimpering to the ground. Coach, I got him pinned. Ernest goes to school. Coming soon to theaters near you. Oh, he doesn't stand a chance. <laughs> okay, so Jim Varney as Ernest is way too old to be allowed back in high school, but for this movie, you have to suspend your disbelief. Ernest Goes to School actually gets more outrageous the further you get into it, but it does give Jim Varney a chance to stretch his acting abilities. When Ernest undergoes those intelligence treatments, once you get past the typical Ernest rubber faces, his attitude, performance, and entire body language completely changes after these transformations. Now, this was the final Ernest movie to be released in theaters, and the only Ernest movie directed by Coke Sam's Coke Sam's really got one of the best Ernest performances out of Jim Varney. So just give me the ball and watch the show. Know what I mean? I gotta recognize some of the other cast members in Ernest Goes to School. Of course, you have some Ernest movie regulars here, like Billy Burge, who plays Bobby, a guy that barely talks in any of these movies, and the talented Linda Cash as Gerda. But there are some other cast members who went on to do some memorable things afterwards. First off, that's Will Sasso right there. Yeah, before Will Sasso was on Mad TV, he played the bully from the football team in Ernest Goes to School. 
And Jason Micus as Donald? He's become quite the voice actor, starring in such shows as Bucky O'Hare and Sabrina the Animated Series and Dragon Tales. Gabe Cuth plays Rodney. Not only did he go on to star in Northwood, but he also became an accomplished voice actor in his own right, starring in the Mobile Suit Gundam series, and he voiced Leonardo in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles The Next Mutation. But my favorite cast member in Ernest Goes to School is Sarah Chalk. She plays Maisie, and right after this movie, she went on to replace Lacey Gorenson as Becky in Roseanne, and then after that, she played Elliot in Scrubs. Everyone has the potential for brilliance, my boy. Ernest Goes to School is like a movie version of Saved by the Bell, the new class, with Ernest in the Screech role. Except if Ernest tries to be as smart as Screech, he turns into a jerk and the kids resent him. And if he stays his lovable self, he won't be able to pass the test. Honestly, I can relate to Ernest here. Not being good enough in sports to make the varsity team is one thing. But I was also the kid who busted his ass studying and stayed after school for extra help every day and still failed the midterm. And this happened to me more than once over the years, but you can't give up. You just have to keep trying and maybe even change strategies until you make it. And that's the macho thing about Ernest, is that he never gives up. And he always makes good on his mistakes. He rises like the underdog that he is. <laughs> Now let's look at the macho meter for some other macho things in Ernest Goes to School. First off, very important, furthering your education. And then also important, never giving up. And of course you have Jim Varney's rubber face. And David Keith as Squint Westwood, the hallway cowboy. There's football, band practice, a studying montage, and a dance break. And I have to mention, throwing a 51-yard touchdown pass to yourself. There's a clothesline, a fire extinguisher to the head, exploding concession stand, improvising, turnbuckle biting, pipe bursting, pro wrestling, jujitsu, glue jitsu, plumbing jitsu, tongue jitsu, and a come from behind victory, body count is zero. Hey Vern, it's Ernest. It's all Looney Tunes here. Nobody actually dies. A job well done. All right, underdogs, you know what time it is. It's time for me to plug my website like I do every video. The web address is http machomike.tv. You can find links to my social media there, including Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, X Twitter and Twitch so you can join me live on the Macho stream. You can also buy Macho merchandise there that I designed myself and you can find all of my past videos there. See for yourself at my website machomike.tv. Got a pretty high opinion of himself. For la boîte. Well, that's the bell. That means school's out. Thanks for being with me today, underdogs. You've been great. I've been Macho Mike. And I'll see you next time at MachoMike.tv on the next video. Till then, keep it macho.